For me, the choice is very clear. I want to be united once again, even if it's a different context, even if it's a different world. We have to remain united if we want to survive as mankind. If we want to survive as a human race, we must become one. And therefore, literature, culture, arts, not just multiculturalism. Multiculturalism, though exists, is a creation of human beings. When we think in terms of different forms of art, it's our creation. But culture is one. And ultimately, we have to understand culture not as different for different people, but we have to understand culture and literature as one idiom for everyone and bring it to the one common platform where people can come again, once again, I'm sorry, I'm saying it again. We have to once again begin to talk to each other and not remain in different silos or different continents. That is the reason that we must work not in politics. Politics is again a creation of mankind to basically what? Get power, to become powerful, to become rulers, to become kings, what? I don't know. But politics has always been an instrument to really create silos. The silos work in the interest of those who want to gain power. Literature, culture, arts are the medium which bring the people together, and for me, that is more important. And once again, the GG and the Pasha, thank you very much for being here. I think we need more people like you to bring it, to bring the world together. The one last thought that comes to my mind is, I know even in the present case, how are GG tried to basically get financing for this festival? Nothing ever succeeds. Unfortunately, we may all have grand ideas, but we all need resources to do something like this. And if the government is not going to support, and I'm not talking about all government, I think that practically every government, I've been to Bangladesh, I've been to many countries around the world. In the case of all governments, culture, anything related to culture, is the lowest priority. Most of the countries in Europe, everywhere, is funded by people at the private level or industrialists who want to own visual art or who want to things. Because 20, 30 years later, somebody will come and say, Oh, what a beautiful piece you have acquired. Acquired? What does it mean to you? It's just a treasure. It's just a piece of art which means money to you. For somebody, this art basically means the things which bring people together, which brings in the consensus of people their own. But unfortunately, the fact is that it is the individuals, the industrialists, who are the resources who patronize arts. Governments have very low priority. And therefore, my suggestion is that we once again need to look at not the governments to promote things like this or to promote events like this, but to work in cooperation with people, what you call the people public partnership. I think we need to once again explore the ways that these things do not depend upon government. And I think there are various ideas in this field of technology. What is the transmit therefore? That's a different debate. <laughs> <laughs> you can go a long way. Yes, I know what you're saying. <coughs> yes, absolutely. Uh, it's a good question, but I can't answer it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>